Hey, if you ever stepped foot in a skincare aisle, you've probably seen products with alpha hydroxy acids. But what are these acids and what do they do for your skin? Well, don't worry, I've got you covered. From what they are to how they can improve your skin, in this video, I will give you an overview of AHAs so that you can make an informed decision about whether they are suitable for you. So keep watching to learn more about these potent little molecules. Hi, I'm Elaine Mertens from Beauty by Code, and I am here to help you find the code behind your skin. So welcome to my channel. Okay, so AHAs are humectants that can be used on the face and body. They are often being touted as beneficial for the skin, and if you are not already using them in your skincare routine, you could be missing out on some profound benefits. And let's talk about why. Well, alpha hydroxy acids are a group of water soluble plant derived acids. They're used extensively in various skincare products. The most popular AHAs are glycolic acid derived from sugarcane and lactic acid, which is derived from fermented veggies and dairy. Other less common AHAs include um, citric acid, as the name suggests, is derived from citrus fruits, malic acid from apples, and uh, tartaric acid from uh, grapes. If you've heard of AHAs, you've probably heard of BHAs. While they have similar benefits in you know, exfoliation, removing dead skin cells, unclogging your pores, reducing the signs of aging, and decreasing inflammation, they work slightly differently. Which, you know, this is not a total surprise, considering that their molecular structure is somewhat different although very slight. For one, they come from totally different sources. Instead of sugarcane, fruit, or milk, beta-hydroxy acids are derived from willow bark or sweet birch. In work, um, they work by penetrating deeper into the pores um, through your sebaceous glands, and uh, BHAs are oil-soluble which is a better option if you have oily skin, sun damage, redness, or if you suffer from moderate, I would say, acne or blackheads. On the other hand, AHAs work by shedding skin on the surface, right, on the surface level, removing, of course, excess dirt and oil, and they allow other products to penetrate better. This process means that AHAs are a fantastic option if you want to treat hyperpigmentation, such as age spots, reduce the size of your pores, or minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles by stimulating cell turnover. On top of that, AHAs can also help improve the skin's texture by increasing collagen production. If you are into skincare, and even if you are not, you will be aware that collagen is a protein that gives your skin its um, firmness and elasticity. By increasing collagen production, AHAs can help you reduce the appearance of uh, cellulite and even stretch marks, meaning that they are going to have, um, you know, like a plumper, smoother skin. If you have acne and sun damaged skin, you may wonder if you can use both, right? Like AHAs and BHAs together. And the short answer is yes, but be sure to start slowly and build up gradually as both AHAs and BHAs can increase your skin's sensitivity to the sun and the combination itself can be more irritating. I would say the key is to try one at a time and see how your skin can handle the acid. If your skin tolerates exfoliants well, well, then you can find a product that contains both rather than trying to mix them uh, yourself. Um, there is, this one is called uh, Murad AHA and BHA exfoliating, exfoliating cleanser. Uh, it has jojoba beads in addition to its chemical exfoliants. Uh, it's very gentle, but it will help you, you know, like uh, renew your skin 
Okay, so once you have selected your AHA, where do you store it at home? Well, let me tell you this. Both AHAs and BHAs are pretty stable forms of uh, acids. So you can keep them at room temperature, no problem. But I would say that despite their stability, you will still want to store them away from uh, direct sunlight. So go for a cool, dark area in your house because, I mean, you want to preserve them, right? Alpha hydroxy acids are often marketed as safe for all skin types, but this is not necessarily true. They can be beneficial for dry skin. However, if your skin is extremely dry or sensitive, you should, um, you know, like gradually work up to frequent use or even avoid using products with AHAs entirely. If you are new to acids, start with a low percentage of glycolic acid, around I will say 2%, and then slowly work your way up. You can expect to see results, I will say, from between 4 to 8 weeks. If you have sensitive skin, use a mild exfoliant like lactic acid, I will say once a week, for a few weeks and then you can increase it to three or four times uh, per week. Then if you need something more uh, substantial, you can switch to uh, glycolic acid. With these acids, always moisturize your skin afterward to help reduce the risk of uh, irritation. Of course, you know, like if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, go for products with, I will say, uh, lactic acid or small um, use a small dose of uh, glycolic acid I will say 7% concentration or, or uh, lower and if you are of course allergic to aspirin well you have to avoid AHAs altogether one last word of caution you know take care if you are also using retinol as you know these two ingredients can cancel each other out and cause irritation so if you are using retinol i would say that wait for at least 30 minutes before applying an aha containing product right whatever you use always follow up with sunscreen as both you know retinol and ahas can increase your skin's sensitivity to the sun hey while you can use several acids in your skincare routine if you are looking to turn back the clock on your skin i will tell you that ahas are an excellent place to start Honestly, they are gentle enough for most skin types, yet they still, um, you know, they still pack a powerful punch for, uh, you know, exfoliation and uh, brightening. So if you have tried uh, using AHAs in your skincare routine, or if you are hesitant, let me know in the comments below. I want to know like what are you using and how you are using them. Listen, I appreciate you very much. Thank you for spending time with me and yeah, I talk to you soon. Bye for now.